ओम शांति एटींथ जनवरी 2023 इंग्लिश वर्ली एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन बी ट्रस्ट वर्दी एंड चेक योर सेल्फ विद ऑनेस्टी टू सी टू वट एक्सटेंड यू हैव बिकम परफेक्ट इन ऑर्डर टू बिकम परफेक्ट कंटिन्यू टू रिमूव योर वीकनेसेस ऑफ बॉडी कॉन्शियसनेस क्वेश्चन वट आर इन हैव द चिल्ड्रन मेड विद द फादर फॉर द फ्यूचर what benefit do you have of that life at the conference just the father you also have to remember the sweet home not just the sweet home you also need prosperity and so remember the land of heaven too the father has come to make you sweetest children perfect so be trustworthy and check yourselves with honesty to what extent have i become perfect the father continues to show you the way to become perfect the main weakness is body consciousness body consciousness does not allow you to move forward in your stage and so you also have to forget your bodies the father has so much love for the children the father is happy to see you children so you children should also be just as happy you should bubble up with happiness inside by remembering the father every day your mercury of happiness must remain high 
mercury will rise with the pilgrimage of remembrance and it will rise gradually by having defeat and victory number wise according to your efforts you will claim your status according to the last cycle as the detached observer babdada continues to see the children's stage and also continues to explain to you both bab and dada have a lot of love for you children because you do lovely service every cycle and you do it with a lot of love however if children do not follow shrimad what can the father do the father has a lot of mercy maya defeats you and the father enables you to get up again the sweetest of all is that one father how sweet and how lovely shiva the innocent god is innocent shiva is the name of only the one sweet children you are now becoming very very valuable diamonds jewelers always keep their valuable diamonds in a bank for their safety you brahmin children are also valuable and you are safely sitting in shri baba's bank you are now in baba's safe and are becoming immortal you are also gaining victory over death now that you belong to shri baba you are safe but you still have to make effort to claim a high status no matter how much wealth etc people in the world have all of that is to finish nothing will remain you children now do not have anything not even those bodies also give those to the father for those who have nothing it is as though they have everything you have made a bargain with the unlimited father for the future new world you say baba whatever we have worth straws even those bodies we are giving all of that to you and then we will take everything from you when we are there so it is as though you have become safe everything is now safe in baba's treasure store you children should have so much happiness inside you that there is now only a little time left and that we will then go to our kingdom if someone asks you tell him wah we are claiming our inheritance of unlimited happiness from the unlimited father we are becoming ever healthy and wealthy all our hearts desires are being fulfilled this father is so lovely and pure he is making souls pure the same as himself the more you remember the father the lovelier you will become deities are so lovely that even now their non living images are worshiped so you children also have to become just as lovely you must not remember any bodily beings or anything at the end baba we have received everything from you you sweet children have to promise yourselves i will not perform any sinful action that would make my conscience bite therefore as much as possible continue to reform yourself make effort to claim a high status of course everyone is number wise jewelry is also number wise some have a lot of defects whereas some are completely pure the father is also a jeweler is he not so the father has to examine each jewel very carefully which jewel is this one and what defects does he have the father will look at the very good pure jewels with a lot of love very good pure jewels are kept in gold containers children understand for themselves what type of jewels they are and what defects they have he would now say wah satguru wah you have shown us this path wah fortune wah wah drama wah you say from your heart thank you baba that you take two handfuls of rice from us and you safely give us a hundredfold return in the future however in this too you children need to have very broad and unlimited intellects 
your children continue to receive plenty of treasures of the wealth of knowledge and so you should have limitless happiness the purer your heart is the purer you will make others only through the stage of yoga does your heart become pure your children must have a keen interest to become yogi and make others into yogis if you have attachment to your body and are body conscious you must then understand that your stage is very weak only soul conscious children become true diamonds and so as much as possible practice being soul conscious remember the father the word baba is the sweetest of all the father will sit you children on his eyelids with a lot of love and take you with him by staying in remembrance of such a father you must be totally intoxicated being in remembrance of the father you will become very happy and cool just as the father uplifts those who defame him in the same way you have to follow the father be bestowers of happiness you children now understand the secrets of the drama the father tells you the news of the incorporeal the subtle and the physical worlds the soul says we are now making effort to go to the new world we will definitely become worthy of going to heaven we will benefit ourselves and others acha the father is explaining to you sweet children the father is the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness and so you children also have to give everyone happiness you have to be the father's right hands the father loves such children the right hand is used to carry out auspicious tasks so the father says be righteous in everything remember the one father and your final thoughts will lead you to your destination finish your attachment to this old world this is a graveyard if you die while thinking of your business or your children you will ruin everything for nothing by remembering shri baba you will become very prosperous when you become body conscious everything is completely ruined by being soul conscious you become very prosperous you must not have a lot of greed for wealth by worrying about that you will even forget shri baba baba sees to what extent you remember everything to the father and to what extent you follow his shriman in the beginning even the father demonstrated this by becoming a trustee he surrendered everything to god and became a trustee himself i just have to use everything for god's task you must never be afraid of obstacles as much as possible use everything of yours in a worthwhile way for service surrender everything to god and be a trustee sweetest beloved long lost and now found children good morning from the mother father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children extend their love remembrance say good morning namaste and thank you to the spiritual bab dada avyakt elevated versions from 1977 are all of you able to experience the stage of remaining stable in your form of being beyond sound for a long period of time are you able to remain stable in the experience of coming into sound for a longer period or are you able to experience the stage of being beyond sound for a longer period the closer you come to your final stage which is the karmatit stage the more love you will have for remaining stable in the stage of silence of being beyond sound whilst stable in this stage you are constantly able to experience super sensuous joy with this stage of super sensuous joy you will easily be able to invoke other souls This powerful stage is called the world benefactor stage. 
just as nowadays with science you are able to experience things being very close a distant sound is hard to be very close by way of a telephone a scene somewhere far away is very clearly visible on a tv in the same way no matter how far away souls are are you able to make the message reach souls through silence let them experience it as though someone has physically given them a message in the corporeal form whilst sitting at a distance they will experience a vision of you elevated souls and see the divine activities of god as though it is all happening right in front of them you would be visible through thoughts that is you would be playing the part of attaining success through thoughts that is of being beyond sound however the way to attain this success is to stabilize yourselves for the maximum time in your form of silence this is why it is said silence is golden this is said to be the golden aged stage by remaining stable in this stage you will be able to bring about greater glorification through less expenditure you will be able to have greater results through less expenditure of your treasures of time energy and physical resources for this simply remember one word what is that one word balance let there be a balance in your every deed thought and word in your relationships and connections then rather than ordinary your words deeds thoughts relationships and connections will be seen as alaukic that is they will seem miraculous from everyone's lips and mind the sound will emerge that this is a miracle according to the time the speed of your efforts and the speed of world service have to be very fast only then will you be called a world benefactor most of the souls of the world are invoking the revelation of you specially loved souls and the father however the specially loved souls are not invoking those souls as much what is the reason for this you are taking too much time for your own limited household of your nature and sanskars just as souls without knowledge do not have time to listen to knowledge in the same way many brahmans do not have the time to remain stable in this powerful stage this is why there is a need for you to become volcanic seeing everyone's household bab dada smiles because everyone has become too busy you are very busy do you not in your original stage you will be constantly free you would attain success and also be free since the instruments of science can be controlled from earth when they go into space and the space ships can be directed as and when needed then can you embodiments of the power of silence not serve any soul through any kind of service you wish in the corporeal world on the basis of your elevated thoughts however you do have to remain beyond your household that is you have to stay up above use all the treasures that you have been told about not just for your own selves but for the whole world do you understand what you now have to do show a balance of serving through sound serving with some physical means and serving by being beyond sound in a subtle way with the greatness and the power of elevated thoughts and the drums of destruction will then beat do you understand you are making many plans and bab dada is now also sharing his plan because of not having the right balance you have to work hard after carrying out a special task you generally take special rest however in the final plan you will experience tirelessness acha 
to the souls who use all their powers for world benefit to those who are embodiments of success through their thoughts to those who are free from their households to the elevated souls who remain constantly stable in the stage of silence bab dada's love remembrance and namaste we such spiritual children extend our love remembrance say good morning namaste and thank you to the spiritual bab dada blessing may you be a master bestower of peace and become an instrument to establish the new world with the power of silence explanation in order to accumulate the power of silence stay beyond your body and become bodiless this power of silence is a very great power the new world is established with it those who are beyond sound and stable in their form of silence will be able to carry out the task of establishment therefore be a bestower of peace that is be an embodiment of peace and bestow rays of peace on peaceless souls especially increase the power of silence this is the greatest of all donations this is the most loved and powerful thing slogan to have good wishes for every soul and aspect of matter is to be a world benefactor om shanti